Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to look into Gemini's 2021 prediction. Okay, annual prediction. In this message, we're just going to pull cards. Okay, just going to pull the cards now. In this message, we're going to look into what you need to let go of for this year. Uh, something that you that will shift or change for you okay we'll take a look into messages from your loved ones past we'll look at how to enhance your gift or connection to spirit then we're going to look into your love life take a look at a forecast for your love life and last but not least what to come and look forward to the next year 2022 okay moving on moving forward okay We'll clarify throughout the reading here, Gemini. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. First, going to pull two of these. Share your light oracle cards. Deep replenishment. It's definitely a healing vibe, Gemini. And I feel like there has been a healing vibe for quite some time for most Geminis. Star seed, what lights you up? Inner temple devotion. Tune in the portal of your heart. Deep replenishment. Star seed. Also feel here, Gemini, that this for a lot of you is symbolizing an awakening that you're going through awakening process okay so really quickly before we get into the heart of the spread i want you to kind of ask yourself um, some of these questions along the way okay while we're going through this what nourishes you what nourishes your soul what refuels your body what brings you back to life what is your secret medicine what makes you feel abundant and fertile overspilling with life and yes those were questions out of the book okay um but there is a beautiful message within this deep replenishment card um and starseed is talking about your message that you're here to implement in this world okay um they're both being called to what lights you up Okay, what makes you feel happy and whole? There may be something within that characteristic trait that you have to share with the world. So let's dig in here, Gemini. Please keep in mind the messages on YouTube are general. So keep what resonates, leave the rest. Any information about personal readings, extended readings, it's all linked below. And Gemini, if you like the vibe, you like how I interpret, you're more than welcome to subscribe here to the channel. Everyone's welcome. It also helps set intentions. Empress is on the bottom of the deck. Interesting, Gemini, interesting. So let's get right into this reading. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Three of Cups, The Lovers. These cards up here are for your advice, guidance, moving forward. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress energy talking about getting clear on what your needs are here. What do you need in order to feel fulfilled, okay? Um, to feel happy, to feel whole within yourself. The Empress is always a very, also a very independent energy. And I feel here, Gemini, that this is the energy that you're coming into. Okay, you're coming into this Empress energy right here. Um, 
coming into 2021 moving forward, okay? You've been going through a healing process, Gemini. This is your energy, okay? This is in the position of what's to come, okay? You're coming into your power here. You're going through an awakening process, okay? The great awakening is almost complete. We're going to get some clarification out here uh, while we're discussing the cards, okay? So let's get into it, Gemini. The first card out here is what you need to let go of here, okay? Um, what you need to release at this time, it's the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about looking back on the past, questioning, okay, with regret, sadness, we're going to clarify this right now, but I feel here, Gemini, I uh, need to just say, um, maybe this is even a reminder for some that everything happens for a reason. So instead of looking back on the past with regret, with sadness, with loss, try to look back on the past and have an understanding of what you learned from that situation, okay? Because there's always something that you can take also feel like you have been in the process of releasing this it's been a difficult process um and it's finally finally coming to an end gemini so um clarify the five of cups here for gemini please and thank you yeah it's a brand new day gemini this is something that you've been waiting to release for a long time here Mm -hmm. It's almost as if you're kind of holding on to some resentment from a past relationship and you're finally freeing yourself from this, okay? Coming into this next year. Next card out is the Queen of Swords. Definitely air energy could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This card is in the position of what is going to shift, what is going to change. Again, Gemini, I feel like you're going through an awakening process. You're coming into your power. Once you release the sadness, once you release this looking back on the past, this past energy, you're going to feel free you're going to feel liberated, okay? You may also be speaking your speaking your truth, okay? Speaking your peace in your power, okay? Uh, very straightforward with how you're approaching people at this time, okay? This card also talks about being strategic, being honest, um... Focusing on your independence here, Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini and what is going to shift for this upcoming year. There you have it. Something shifted within this dynamic. If you've spoken your truth to this person, this past person, I feel like you're kind of releasing that past situation and, and it's almost as if you are truly getting closure on a situation that was no longer serving you, Gemini. I also feel here what this is talking about is focusing on the future. Message from ancestors, Gemini, Ten of Cups. For those of you that think that you're never going to find that person, you're wrong. There is a person in this world for everybody. Don't give up on love. I feel here, Gemini, as long as you take the time to really get clear on the lesson, you're not going to have to worry about having your guard up if a connection comes in. Now, this is also symbolizing here Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is happy family, happy wife, happy life. This card is in the position of what your ancestors are trying to, to express to you, Gemini. And I feel like what this card is saying is you're headed in a positive direction. You're headed towards everything that your little heart desires 
And when it comes to a relationship, you're going to get what you want out of a relationship, out of a connection too. Okay? Don't give up on love just because a past situation was a little bit difficult to release here. Please clarify the Ten of Cups here for Gemini as messages from their ancestors, spirits, loved ones who have passed. Please and thank you. Justice. Libra energy. Hmm. Those of you that have been fighting for somebody's attention, you're either going to be releasing this or winning that competition. All you have to do is stand your ground. Also, if this is having to do with this past situation, once you walk away, they may come forward, Gemini. They may try to chase after you. Um, and that's when you're going to have to set those boundaries and be firm. Now, the next card out is the Six of Wands. How to enhance your connection to spirit. I feel like this is talking about being grateful, Gemini, an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for what you already have. Be thankful for where you are headed, even if you haven't gotten there yet. And you'll be rewarded. And I feel here, Gemini, that you are coming to terms with that. Also, guys, one thing that I've learned in my life is there's certain things that you can implement in your morning routine that will help you move things forward throughout your day. It's the same thing with a night routine or bedtime routine. And I've found that when I go to bed, when I write out a list of 10 things I'm grateful for, or even maybe not even writing it out, just sitting there thinking about the things that I'm grateful for before I go to bed, it has a even more lasting effect because I'm implementing that into my subconscious right before I fall asleep. Just a thought. I do feel here, Gemini, that you are kind of, you're coming into your power. Okay, you're also uh, becoming a leader here is what I see from what these cards are coming out. The, the, the message is clear here, Gemini, that you're coming into your power. I feel like you are going to be a leader. So whether this is a leader in your career, a leader in your career field, um, that's what's coming through here. The Empress came out twice, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not going to be surprised if that Queen of Pentacles comes out as well. The Queen of Swords definitely did. One more card out here for the Six of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles here for Gemini. There it is. Empress with the Ace of Cups. Gemini. Things are going to start looking up for you. This year, Geminis have been moving through some heavy energy because they've been doing some really deep healing work. I feel like this is all coming to a completion. For those of you that have been going through an awakening process, um, maybe going through some type of transformation to become a spiritual teacher, a uh, healer, something along those lines, I do feel that you are headed in that direction here. Okay, that's coming out prominent. You will be successful at that as well. And I feel like that's going to be coming together here within 2021 from what we see here in the cards. Those of you that this is resonating with, you're needing to focus on the routine, the day-to-day -day tasks, making sure that everything is taking care of all your ducks are in a row. Okay. Also, focus on yourself a little bit, you know, giving yourself some self-care, some love, some appreciation for self. It's going to be important here, Gemini. Forecast for your love life moving forward is the Three of Cups. So, celebration. This also is a card of engagement. Engagement. 
your love life is going to start looking up, Gemini. I feel like you had to really release this past energy before anything came in or moved forward. Even if you were moving forward with a past relationship, that holding on to resentment was really holding that back. Lovers, Knight of Swords, and High Priestess. So I feel like this is going to happen really quickly, Gemini. When you least expect it. This relationship. I also feel here it's going to be intense. It's going to be an intense connection. You're going to need to really implement some boundaries and stand your ground here. That's going to be important here moving forward. Maybe that's something if, if you have a hard time implementing boundaries, if you have a hard time saying no, that's going to be important moving forward 2021. Maybe jot that down, guys, okay? So last but not least is the scrying. What's to come? What's to come? Throughout this year into next, Gemini, Gemini forever. You're coming into your power. You're going through an awakening process. And I also feel here, Gemini, that you are, for a lot of you, this is a leader, a spiritual teacher. Some You're going to be able to help others is the sense that I'm getting here. Make sure you're taking your time to release this resentment, though. Okay, that's the main thing. It's the main thing I see that's been holding you back here, Gemini. And I feel like it's really, it's caused a lot of confusion in your life, for sure. Um, but this is no more. Okay, this is going to be no more. You're releasing this energy. And again, it wasn't easy feel like there may have been a connection from your past that was really intense, caused a lot of confusion, might have been a long-term, a long-standing, maybe even a marriage for some of you, caused destruction and disruption in your life. You're finally freeing yourself from this, Gemini. So give yourself a pat on your back. Trust the process. The cards that came out, Gemini, for your advice, guidance, moving forward. The world, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. This has been a long, a long coming process, okay? I feel like you are headed in a positive direction here, getting clear on that vision, the visionary card. So what do you want out of 2021? Do you want to start a business? Are you... Um, Maybe going to do some events, promote promote um, some type of a business. Maybe you're going to do a career change. Maybe you're going to focus on relationships. The Three of Wands says get clear on what where you see yourself headed. So that way when it's time, you can take action. Let's get a native spirit. Oracle card for you, Gemini. Sum up the reading. If you guys have found that this message has been helpful, is resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. This is a little bonus extra reading. No extendeds here. Just appreciation. Me to you. Let's see here, Gemini. Peace pipe. Trickster. Hmm. Caution. Caution to the wind. There's a trickster in your midst. So your soul journey message, Gemini, is write down the answer to these questions. If there was an area of my life to which I need to bring peace, what might it be? What's the first step that I need to take towards resolving a rift 
with another or feeling unfinished regarding a person or situation, then take action. This card it talks about healing old wounds, Gemini. Okay, it talks about bringing in the peace, making amends. This is the path to letting go of that resentment, which is the main thing that was, that's what's holding you back from this awakening. So let's get a, actually these are the love message cards. Let's get a power thought card for you guys sum up the reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing, amazing, amazing. Again, if you did like the video, thank you so much. The love and support is free. Thumbs up. I'm in the process of positive change. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. Beautiful, Gemini. Beautiful. So, Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for 2021. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are, again, all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.